How's the woman? Gone. What? She went to medical school in California. Sorry, brother. I don't know what to tell you. You know all the girls I've been with, you've been with them too. <laughs> Except Cheryl McGovern, which was a big mistake on your part. Yeah, I'm sure that's why only one of us has herpes. Yeah, some shows are worth the price of admission, partner. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking back's killing me. That's why you should've gone to college. Hey, fuck you! Suck my crank, fucking sheet metal pussy. <clears throat> so when are you done with those meetings? A week after I'm 21. Are they hooking you up with a job? Yeah. Sit in a room, do long division for the next 50 years. It's better than this shit. At least you'd be making some nice bank. Yeah, and be a fucking lab rat. That's a way out of here. What do I want a way out of here for? I want to live here for the rest of my life. I want to be a next door neighbor. I want to take our kids to Little League together up Folly Fields. <laughs> Look, you're my best friend, so don't, don't take this the wrong way, but in 20 years, if you're still living next door to me, coming over watching the fucking Patriots games and still working construction, I'll fucking kill you. And that's not a threat, that's a fact. I will fucking kill you. Ch Chucky, what are you talking about? Listen, you have something that none of us have. Why has it got to be this? I owe it to myself? What if I don't want to? Fuck you. You owe it to me. In 20 years, I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to be still doing this shit. And that's all right, because I'm going to make a run at it. But you, you're sitting on a winning lottery ticket, and you're too much of a pussy to cash it in, and that's bullshit, because I would do anything to have what you got. And so would any of these guys. It'd be a fucking insult to us if you're still here in 20 years. You don't know that? Let me tell you what I do know. Every day, I come by to pick you up and we go out drinking, have a few laughs. But you wanna know what the best part of my day is? The 10 seconds before I knock on that door, cause I let myself think that I might get there and you'd be gone. I'd knock on the door and you wouldn't be there. You just left. Now I don't know much, but I know that.